Step into the world of power, loyalty, and luck. I'm going to make him an offer he can't refuse. With family, cannolis, and spins mean everything. Now, you want to get mixed up in the family business. Introducing The Godfather at ChompaCasino.com. Test your luck in the shadowy world of the Godfather slot. Someday, I will call upon you to do a service for me. Play the Godfather, now at ChampaCasino.com. Welcome to the family. No purchase necessary. VGW Group. Voidware prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. It's time for today's Lucky Land Horoscope with Victoria Cash. Life's gotten mundane, so shake up the daily routine and be adventurous with a trip to Lucky Land. You know what they say. Your chance to win starts with a spin. So go to LuckyLandSlots.com to play over 100 social casino-style games for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. Get lucky today at LuckyLandSlots.com. Available to players in the U.S., excluding Washington and Michigan. No purchase necessary. VGW Group. Void or prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. He finds himself going to the Museum of Modern Art every day for kind of inspiration. And he happens to stumble upon this um, this installation, this event that Marina Abramovich in real life did in New York in the, in the mid uh, 2010s, called The Artist is Present, where she's sitting in a chair uh, and people are invited to sit opposite her for any, there's, there's no time limit, but people just are in process with her without talking, just sort of looking, they're looking at each other and seeing what emerges out of that. You're listening to the Theatre Thoughts Podcast. My name's Justin, or you can call me Stin. And if you're a first-time listener, welcome. If you're a returning listener, welcome back for more exclusive chats and interviews between myself and professionals within the theatre industry. On today's podcast, we sit down with Julian Garner, who is currently in rehearsals for the Museum of Modern Love, which is set to have its world premiere at the Sydney Theatre Festival, the Seymour Centre, in January 2022. Julian is an actor whose theatre credits include productions at the Griffin Theatre, Sydney Theatre and Bell Shakespeare Companies. Julian sits down to discuss his lead role in the Museum of Modern Love and how the show revolves around one of the most famous art installations in history. So, once again, welcome back. Remember, switch on those thoughts and please enjoy the Theatre Thoughts Podcast. Welcome to the podcast, Julian Garner. We are very excited to talk to you today about everything you've got going on. How are you? I'm uh, good. Thank you. Thank you for having me. You're more than welcome. So you are in the Museum of Modern Love, which is playing at the Seymour Centre from the 22nd to the 30th of January as part of the Sydney um, Festival. Is that correct? That's right. Yeah, we, we just started rehearsals this week. So we've got December and a lot of January until we we open to mid, late January. Pretty exciting. And I've read up the, um, the plot of Museum Museum of Modern Love and it threw me all the way back to university when I was learning about Marina Abramovich and her performance arts. We did this real in-depth kind of study on performance artists. So could you just kind of give us a, a little bit of an introduction about yourself and your role in the show as a whole? Yeah, um, it's a project that I've sort of been associated with for the last three years. I think Tim Jones at Seymour, the artistic director, has been wanting to turn the book by Heather Rose uh, into a play for a while. And he's um, he's uh, roped in Tom Holloway, an Australian playwright, to help with the adaptation. And so I think about three years ago, pre-COVID, uh, we got together for a couple of weeks, a group of actors that he'd sort of got together to to begin the process of uh, Tom Holloway had written maybe a uh, uh, two hour long uh, play that we kind of workshopped on the floor, read out, culminating in a stage reading in front of Heather Rose, the author, and a few other people, interested backers and, and so on. So, so yeah, the, the character in this uh, story, the character that I play is called Archie Levin. He's um, a pretty successful film composer who finds himself uh through various creative blocks, but also because of a situation that is uh, is happening to him with his wife, who is who is dying of a disease, he finds himself going to the Museum of Modern Art every day for kind of inspiration, and he happens to stumble upon this um, this installation, this event that Marina Abramovich in real life did in New York in the in the mid uh, 2010s, called "The Artist Is Present," where she's sitting in a chair uh, and 
people are invited to sit opposite her for any, there's, there's no time limit, but people just are in process with her without talking, just sort of looking, they're looking at each other and seeing what emerges out of that. So he finds himself on the sideline being engrossed by this um, this event. Kind of just knowing more about the show is engrossing in its, mm. you know, it kind of, it's interesting to take a, a work that's a novel based on an installation piece of work. And then adapted onto the yeah, stage. it's like three three different kind of layers of yeah in in the novel, which is a work of fiction. I think inspired by real events. I think inspired by Heather, who went to New York and went to this event. I think she was right. Okay, observing people on the side and hearing conversations and picking up the vibe of the city at the time. Uh, I mean, it was a huge success in New York. I think it ran for three months or, or longer. So she got inspired. I think there was a real. Arky Levin. I don't know if that was his name, but there was a real person like that she, that she got inspiration from. Right. Okay. So the artist is present. It's it's so simple in its in its basis and its foundations that literally she's just sitting there and she's just staring into another person's soul and she just she doesn't crack. She doesn't crack the entire time. No, and she doesn't get up to go to the toilet either. Right. She literally, she literally, she literally just sits there. Sits there immobile and the most that she does when someone leaves is is bend her head down closes her eyes she senses someone approaching senses someone sitting and then when she's ready she will lift her gaze open her eyes and begin the process with a new person wow i remember seeing a video the one time she did break was when i believe with it was, her with her ex with her ex yeah with and her ex she, famous and they both you could see it in um both their eyes she was very like overcome with emotion and then and she cracked yeah. and it was one of the only times she did i think she reached across i think or they reached and touched each other in a hand yeah um, and i think that was the first day i think from what I remember. Okay. But yeah, she kept it going. I mean, it's unbelievable. Yes, it is simple, but also the, the logistics and the physical demands of doing mm. that are completely mind-bendingly unbelievable to think about, really. Yeah, the definitely. stillness, the pain, the back pain, the, you know, they would have had to do something with going to the toilet. But there was, she was covered in this big dress. So who knows the, what was underneath the, the yeah. chair and so on. There's, there's speculation. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, she's shown that she's got incredible physical um, daring and stamina and courage and, and ability. So, yeah. <laughs> So what attracted you to the story in the first place? Why, what was it that kind of pulled you in and thought, okay, this might be something I'm interested in? Well, when I first heard about it, I, it was because of Marina Abramovich. I think like you, maybe many years ago, I found out, found out about her and I go, oh, there's something about what she's doing that really appeals to me. I was wanting to get away from this again, this is when I heard about it. I, I didn't know anything about it other than she's somehow involved in it. I wanted to do something different than just tell a story the conventional way. I want to do something with my body. I want to do something physical. I wanted to do something that was more performance sort of uh, performance art based. But then I found out that she's not really in it. And, and then I thought, well, maybe I'm going to play the sort of Ulai character. Maybe I could be a a foil to her or right. something. <laughs> okay. This, you know, but that was when it was first came my way because she'd been floating in my in my sort of periphery, in my consciousness for a while, and then this came my way. Go, oh, that's a coincidence. Hello, it is Ryan, and we could all use an extra bright spot in our day, couldn't we? Just to make up for things like sitting in traffic, doing the dishes, counting your steps, you know, all the mundane stuff. That is why I'm such a big fan of Chumba Casino. Chumba Casino has all your favorite social casino style games that you can play for free anytime, anywhere with daily bonuses that should brighten your day a little actually a lot so sign up now at chumbacasino.com that's chumbacasino.com no purchase necessary btw void were prohibited by law see terms and conditions 18 plus hey guys it is ryan i'm not sure if you know this about me but i'm a bit of a fun fanatic when i can i like to work but i like fun too it's a thing and now the truth is out there i can tell you about my favorite place to have fun chumba casino they have hundreds of social casino style games to choose from with new games released each week you can play for free anytime anywhere and each day brings a new chance to collect daily bonuses so join me in the fun sign up now at chumbacasino.com no purchase necessary btw void were prohibited by law see terms and conditions 18 plus 
Right. And then when I read the play, I go, ah, okay, it's not that. It's not a performance piece of art. There are sort of some aspects of it. We're trying to incorporate some aspects of the event itself and the process of sitting down with someone and, and connecting them without saying anything. Then just the character. I mean, I, I'm a, he's a very interesting, uh, complex. He's just in this dilemma at the moment where his what. I don't know how much of the plot. I, am I going to give away a bit of? Oh, don't plot? give away. Don't you want to give away like any secrets? But like, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Now he's in a dilemma. I don't. It's it's no secret because his wife is dying, but she's she's kind of with with a court order. She has enforced him to stay away from her while she's dying. That's oh, pretty. Okay. That's set up pretty much at the beginning of the play. So he's in this pickle because all his friends are going. What are you doing? Of course you got to go and see her. Don't be stupid. She, you know, blah blah blah. But he literally cannot go to see wow. her. She's gone to a facility two or three hours away from where they live in New York to spend the last few weeks or months of her life. Uh, under the, Her pretext is that Aki, and she's somewhat right, is a very self-involved, when he gets creative and he's got a couple of projects at the moment, she's giving him the space and the time to just dive into his work. Right. Um, and he feels he hasn't achieved his life's purpose. He hasn't written the great composition. The, he hasn't got... He's been nominated three times for an Oscar, but he hasn't got the Oscar. He hasn't done his piece at the Carnegie Hall and okay. he hasn't quite got the accolades that he wants. So he has a daughter. They have a daughter, Alice, who's a doctor. I was training, almost finished to be a doctor. And she, they, they have a fraught relationship too. She doesn't understand what her mum's done. She doesn't understand why her father's not going to visit her. And there's a few characters around the Aki. Alice is the daughter and um, Lydia is the, the wife, his wife. There's a few characters around as well that that are part. How can I say this? The the event, the artist is present, is sort of the the central piece part of the, the play. But around that event, people meet. That we meet characters like Arky. Uh, there's a character called Helaeus, an old friend of Arky's. There's a, a woman called Britica, who's a Dutch PhD researching the project. There's Jane from Georgia, whose husband died and she finds herself in New York. So a few people drawn to this. And, and from that, we sort of follow the other character's story. Okay. Um, and I just found that conceit quite interesting too. And the, the whole thing about creativity, about connection, about mm. it's a sort of love story as well. So I, I was drawn in by that, by those things. So it sounds like it's a lot about human connections, relationships, and with the artist is present at the center of it all, really. That's it. And, and what that challenges and what that proposes to people, the, uh, the, the looking up, connecting with another, and having that witnessed by a group of people. It's sort of this public showing of a very internal, private process. Without giving too much away, I know that 10 people each performance get to sit on the stage and be a part of the, the kind of centre of the action. So what, what should audiences sort of expect coming into this? I, th I, I think the idea was to give the audience somewhat of a sense of what it was like for the public right. to be on the periphery of the Marina Abramovich experience. Okay, that's um, interesting. Yeah, so, so breaking the fourth wall a little bit and, and having people... We can't have people in a square because we're the Seymour. We can't have people sort of right up to the line as we're performing. But I think the idea was to try and create something of that environment. So, yeah. so obviously, not too much for an audience. So not expecting if I sit on the stage to get up and do a bit of a dance, which is... Uh... No, not at all. Or <laughs> come on, uh, cr cry now. Cry on, yeah. cry on the Where's your tears? Show. Yeah, where's your tears? Show us all your pain now. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm interested to know with everything because you said you were a part of this for um, since like roughly around 2018 pre-COVID. Mm. Mm. How did you keep yourself busy um, throughout mm. lockdown? Were you working <laughs> like on your own things or was it the show? Uh, I I was lucky to get a bit of work in the little gaps when it was possible to work. I got a little bit on an American film. I did, I mean, earlier this year in January, February, but just before the second shutdown completely, I managed to do a film. Oh. Um, I also, in during this lockdown, I decided to do something completely different. I go, no, I'm done. I'm done for a bit. So I studied to be a chef. <laughs> oh, amazing. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I'm, I'm learning. Uh, and I've still got a year to go. That'll pick up in late January again, right after this play finishes, actually. Yeah, just uh, 
and partly because my mum, who was a great cook, a great chef, she passed away this year during COVID. Oh, and, and I just, I don't know, it just at the same time, I felt like I was just doing something completely different away from acting. So yeah, a couple of days a week, I would go into this incredible commercial kitchen and, and learn really good cooking skills. And you dress up in the whole kind of chef's outfit and Okay. It was it was lovely. So I kept myself busy that way. I've got two children as well. So lockdown was spent, you know, homeschooling. Mm. But yeah, work wise, I was seemed to get, you know, luckily I got a film here or an ad there or a tiny uh, workshop there or bits and pieces just to fill in those gaps. So do you have a specialty dish that you like to cook? <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, not yet. I mean, I, these are all foundational things like diff- learning the cuts and learning how to fillet fish and learning stocks and soups and and sauces and um no and 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 baking you know uh, it's been a whole dessert pastry kind of course as well so making pastry is is simple but it's freaking complicated as well just yeah the, the attention you need to give the pastry and the rolling with the butter and keeping it cool and put it in the fridge for half an hour letting the gluten kind of relax and coming back to it so i've enjoyed that i want to do a bit more of that but at the moment i'm done with pastry no more yeah. pastry for a yeah. bit <laughs> Sounds i a bit put on put on a few kilos just so much sugar and butter and just stuffing oh, myself. Don't even start. <laughs> oh i keep saying you, that it's locked it sounds down like you like cooking but, too do you like cooking um i do i do like cooking i, I picked it up yeah. during the first lockdown um i got mm. into making like banana bread and things like that oh um, yeah, yeah just because i i literally had nothing to do so i was like oh, why not start cooking i just couldn't get the banana bread quite right she's not the same <laughs> as you know the ones you get from a um a cafe but i mean it was it was entertaining um and it's it's very um calming in the kitchen i'm a i'm a croissant monster are you really? My, 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 if I, if there's one thing I want to do before I die is perfect the croissant, like your beautiful <laughs> layers of pastry and crispy on the outside and soft and buttery on the inside. Amazing. That's my, that's my wish. <laughs> that's going to turn into a whole cooking podcast. I love it. <laughs> yes, that's right. Yeah. So I'll, I'll bring it back to, I guess, your acting career. So you've worked across all sectors. You've worked stage, TV and film. What do you see is next for you? Where would you kind of like to uh, pursue next? I want to be, I want to be Juliette Binoche. That's who I want to be. Oh, okay. <laughs> and by that, and by that, I mean that I was talking to Glenn, who's also in the play the other day, I, and partly inspired by this as well. And what I was saying earlier about physical kind of performance uh, aspect. Uh, to, to, uh, to answer your question, I don't know. But if I had the choice, I would do something like what Julie had been. It's like learning a contemporary dance piece with a with a with a contemporary dance master and performing that. I mean, something completely different that's usual from naturalistic kind of acting. Right. Um, I would love to. Uh, there's a there's a theatre company called Ninefold, which kind of uses Suzuki training. As okay. a base, as a foundation for their thing, and and it's and I saw a production of this a few years ago, and it just blew me away with um with what was possible other than just you know hey literal kind of naturalistic hey you know how are you going oh yeah did this uh, yeah 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 uh, which is fine it's got its place and I love that too uh, but I I want to do something completely different I want to have a I want to be able to have an audience sit down and go oof I haven't seen this for a while use of mm. space and use of uh, voice and use of lighting that's not necessarily naturalistic i don't have anything coming up like that but after this play that's what i would like to sort of find and manifest yeah yeah i think i'm finding i I, what i'm hearing from a lot of different artists is obviously with the lockdown moving on and you know fingers crossed it keeps moving on that it's you know we're moving into the new world or our our normal world i suppose that we're going through a sort of dare i say renaissance cause sort of period of you know new art new works and everyone's just wanting to get back out and create which is fingers crossed what happened yeah maybe yeah maybe there maybe there will be this explosion of artists who've just had enough of being locked down and being yeah. out of contact with others and and who've all bubbled up this stuff and say to just go boom and explode into this you know colorful <laughs> creative yeah thing i don't know well i'll leave i'll leave that there julian thank you so much for joining us so museum of Welcome. modern love has its world premiere 22nd of january chook is with with everything we're very excited to see it thank and you. um thank you i hope that your cooking um continues and <laughs> you. you have to if you get that croissant right you're gonna have to let yeah. us know my children will be the guinea pigs yeah yeah, <laughs> I can try. Tickets for the Museum of Modern Love can now be booked by searching the show at sydneyfestival.org.au. That's all the 
the time we have left here on the Theatre Thoughts Podcast. Don't forget that all the information from today's show can be found on our website, theatrethoughtsoz.online. If you like today's show, spread the word and tell two of your friends, just two, about the Theatre Thoughts Podcast and help us spread our thoughts around the world. Until next time, stay safe, keep those thoughts rolling, and we'll be back with more exclusive chats and interviews here on the Theatre Thoughts Podcast. Have you ever wondered how your favourite performer actually feels? Well, here's your chance. Welcome to The Quiet Part Out Loud with me, Bobby Steggert, Broadway actor and now a therapist to a whole host of Broadway creatives. Part interview, part therapy, this is not your typical podcast. We'll go right to the heart of things with some of your favorite artists, what they still struggle with, what lessons they've learned, what they haven't figured out yet. There's enormous power in saying the quiet part out loud. Are you listening? It's time for today's Lucky Land Horoscope with Victoria Cash. Life's gotten mundane, so shake up the daily routine and be adventurous with a trip to Lucky Land. You know what they say, your chance to win starts with a spin. So go to LuckyLandSlots.com to play over 100 social casino-style games for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. Get lucky today at LuckyLandSlots.com. Available to players in the U.S., excluding Washington and Michigan. No purchase necessary. VGW Group. Void were prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply.